can with the depth of the running back group, does it almost feel like since you don't get maybe as many reps because there's so many good guys out there that you almost have to do a little bit more every time you get the football out there? Um, I mean, for the most part, I'm trying to do the most I can to get on the field, to make plays and stuff. So I feel like no matter the depth, if there was a lot of guys, if there was a little guys, I'm always trying to make plays no matter what. Coach Bonaparte really highlighted the pass blocking and pass catching ability. Can you talk about yourself in both of those aspects? Um, I'm really comfortable catching out the backfield. I actually, I enjoy doing that. I feel like um, I can line up wide if I have to. Um, suit and my pass pro is really it's been developing it's been getting a lot better day by day and so that's another thing I'm getting really comfortable with and at the end of the day that's just going to give me more time on the field so that's something I'm trying to work on a lot. Just what have these last couple years been like where obviously you came in and you know there's so many guys in that room that you've been you know working for that opportunity mm -hmm. has that been frustrating at all or just what's it been like you know continuing to work towards you know getting a bigger role? No, it hasn't been frustrating at all, at all. Um, really, I just take it as a positive. I have a lot of guys I can learn from, you know, people like Savon, people like Rich, people like KP and Sean, they all have different aspects of their game that I could take from. So, you know, I'm just trying to apply that to my game at the end of the day, make, make myself better. The coaches and the atmosphere, you know, it's, it's a winning atmosphere up here. And it just felt like family from the start. My first official visit, or not even official visit, but my first visit, you know, it felt like family, and that's something you can't get from going or at every school. And so it, was, it just felt different. It felt home at first. How are you different from Rich? Um, that's tough. I feel like Rich is a lot of power, and I feel like I have a lot of speed. Um, I feel like we both bring a lot of, um, we have a big playmaking ability, but I feel like Rich, you know, he comes with a lot of power in the goal line. I don't want to rank. Uh, I don't want to rank us, but <laughs> but you know, I, I I am confident in my speed. What's your What's your fastest four you've ever clocked? You know, uh, four four nine hand time. Okay. You mentioned just the family atmosphere here. What, was there a clear second choice for you before you came to UW that you had in your list? Um, obviously, you know the the hometown schools, but. You know, I feel like Washington was way ahead. They were the first school to really get on me, so it was it was an easy decision for me. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself getting a chance to talk to any of the old Corey Dillon, Kaufman, Greg Lewis, Lewis Rankin? I mean, Miles, obviously, you know, but yeah. you get a chance to kind of talk with those guys all about what it's like to play here? No, nah, I'm not. You know, I'm hoping to. If they, if they can get in contact with me, that would be great. So, you know, I can learn things from them, but... You know, I've talked with Miles a little bit. I was here for uh, a little bit of Sylvain's era. And so, you know, it's just, I'm always trying to get, get information. And so it would be nice to talk to people like that. Yeah, and last year you were, when the season started, you were the fourth guy coming in at running back. Yeah. I still playing a lot. I, don't, I can't remember with a game on the line, a, four, a fourth line running back playing as much as you did. Uh, usually those guys are, you know, in a 50 to nothing blowout coming mm. off the bench. Is that... How, how did you handle all that, and how did you expect to play coming fourth, and then you moved up to third, and now you're first and second all the time? Um, you know, really, it's not a problem. I feel like my job is to make KB's job harder with who he wants to put in. You know, I'm trying to push my way up the depth chart any chance I can, so I'm not really focused on if I'm four, if I'm third or fifth or first. You know, I'm really just trying to make plays at the end of the day. KB that you felt you could trust in him to develop you at the next level? Um, shoot, just looking at his resume, you know, he has guys like um, LeGarrette Blunt, uh, Doug Martin, and so, you know, just seeing that, I'm like, I want to I wanna be coached by him. I feel like he has a lot of uh, information and knowledge that he could shed on me. What's your favorite play? My favorite play? <sighs> Has to be power, for sure. Power, that's God's play. <laughs> Which side? any side because you know I'm confident in my alignment so the right or the left it don't matter. Do you feel like one guy is going to eventually get a couple of hundred carries or it'll be more of a by committee thing as the year goes by? How do you kind of foresee that shaking out? Um, it's just whoever has the hot hand really. You know KB's going to do a good job of rotating us and putting the best guy in at the moment. So, um, yeah, just whoever has the high hand is, is whoever's going to have the most carries, you know, uh, during the game or during the season. It feels like 
feels like that, that's kind of the way you're approaching it now. Is it to buy people? Like everybody's gonna get a shot for yeah. now. Is that kind of the way you feel? Um, yeah, I feel like that for sure. You know, I'm just worried about my part and how I can contribute to the offense, to the team, and you know how I can help us get a win at the end of the day. Do you need a certain number of carries a game to kind of get into a rhythm, though? <coughs> Um, as a running back, I feel like it for sure takes a couple of carries to get, you know, in a good rhythm. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm confident that, you know, if I get one or two carries, if I get a couple of catches at the backfield, I'll just make the most of it. Cam, just how do you feel like in the two plus years you've been here, where's like the biggest areas that you feel like you've grown, that, you, that you've sort of expanded your game? Um, for sure, on my um, not going not going down by first contact, you know, I feel like Going into college, that's kind of the biggest thing you have to adjust because, you know, that's, it's um, a lot bigger guys out here compared to high school. So really, you know, I feel like just my strength, my balance, and, you know, just not going down on first contact. You came in in the same recruiting class. Did you guys talk at all when you guys were committed as recruits? Was there a relationship that you had coming in? Oh, yeah, for sure. We talked a little bit. We had a, um, we actually had a group chat with all the, the commits and the recruits in the moment, so I was able to get familiar with them before we came in. What did you see from him, just in his growth and development with the offense and your guys' continuity and all that? Um, really, I mean, he's always had the, the skill set and the tools, but I've just seen him grow and become a leader, and I feel like as a quarterback, that's a really big thing to be able to conduct and lead a team. So I've seen him just take the next step in that and, you know, just become a really good quarterback. Yeah, pass pro seems to be a thing that a lot of star high school running backs don't really worry about. Yeah. In pass protection, and they get here and they're finally asked to block. Mm -hmm. How much of that did you do in high school, and mm -hmm. how would you grade yourself as a, a pass pro blocker right now? Um, I actually did a lot of it. Um, I had a great coach in high school, Coach Salter, and he really emphasized, you know, blocking out the backfield. But at the same time, I feel like I came up here and. KB taught me a lot about pass pro, and it's a lot of stuff that goes into it that I didn't realize. And so um, I thank Salter for, you know, introducing it to me from the start, but I also feel like I've grown a lot since I've got here. Do people still think that you and Taj Davis must be related? Yeah, we get that all the time. Every time we meet somebody, they think we're related, but you know, it's funny, we actually joke about it. We say we're cousins and everybody believes it at first. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, we just get it all the time. What's the what's the scouting report on Taj as a receiver? Taj is a dog, you know. He wants the ball. He wants to make plays, and I feel like um, the thing I like about him most is he loves to block. So when I get the ball, you know, he's always <laughs> it's like a one-two duel, vice versa. If I'm blocking for him on the screen, you know, I'm gonna make sure I get him right. And so yeah, now he's a dog, and I just know he really wants to get on the field and help this team out. What's your um, biggest Taj Davis high school memory? Has to be the Calabasas game. Um, he had a high ankle sprain, didn't practice at all, and he took an end around to the house, like 60 yards, probably 80 yards, and uh, that's when I knew, like, he's just, he's different. Who on defense has hit you the hardest in fall camp? Mm, I feel like I haven't really had a good lick on me, but, you know, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Eddie always, he's, uh, he's, some, he's somehow always there, so I'll for sure, I'll for sure say Eddie. What are you most excited for this year? Beating the Cougs, for sure. There you go. <laughs> hey, what about, uh, you're, you're a third-year freshman. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of that before in college football. Obviously, yeah. some unique circumstances. So what, what's it like to be a third-year player and still have, if you want, so much football ahead of you here? What's that like? Um, well, I feel like, I mean, it was obviously because of COVID, and everybody can look at COVID as a negative thing, but I guess that was one, like, positive that came out of it is I get extra time here if I if I need it and so um, I feel like you know I'm glad if I if I want to stay here I, I know I have those years I know I have extra time here to develop but you know um, at the end of the day I want to I want to be able to get out in the in the amount of time that was planned which is four years all right all right thank you very much Cam. thanks Cam. Jackson Kirkland coming up